Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Omar Hamid and in this video I will show you how you can use relative and absolute referencing in Microsoft Excel. This is a very important and foundational thing to know about in Excel as it will help you much especially when working with functions. So let's go into Excel to see how we can do all that. Here I am in Excel and I have this order. As you can see we have five items and the quantity per item and the cost per item for each one of them. And I want to calculate the total cost for each item. So in order to do it, I will have to press equal B5 times C5. And now I get the total cost. And if I want to get the total cost for all the other ones, I will apply to all. And as you can see, for each cell, it multiplies the quantity times the cost per item. So, for example, if we go into this one and press F2, you will see that it's multiplying this by this. If we go into here, you will see that it's applying B9 times C9. So, it's going down one by one for each of the cells in the two columns. And this is called relative referencing. Now, for the absolute referencing, let's say... I want to calculate the tax cost and in order to do it I will have to multiply the total cost times the tax rate which is 15% so let's do it for the first cell equals D5 times H4 and I will press enter and now if I apply it to all you will see that I will get zero which is definitely a wrong answer. Why am I getting zero? Because if I press F2 here to see the function, it's multiplying D6 times H5. And if I go to this one, it's multiplying D8 times H7. So for each time we go down, the total cost is moving and also the cell here is moving in column H. But we want to multiply all the cells of the total cost with one cell, which is the H4. And in order to do it, we have to fix this cell. So how we can do it? We will go back into the first one. And we need to fix this cell. So in order to do it, we can put the cursor here next to H4. And we can press F4. And now can see two dollar signs before the column and before the row so this indicates that this cell is fixed now and by pressing F4 again we will see this is called mixed referencing and here we are only fixing the row which is row number four if we press F4 one more time we are now fixing only the column edge but the row is not fixed and if we press F4 again nothing is fixed we are back to the relative reference so again we will press on F4 now this cell is fixed we can also do it simply by typing these dollar signs instead of pressing F4 so for example we have H4 here so we can write the dollar sign by ourselves and if we press enter now if we apply it to all we can see that we got the correct answers and in order to check that everything is correct we will go into random cell press F2 and we can see that now D8 is multiplied by H4 and here D6 is also multiplied by H4 so now the H4 cell is fixed and this is called the absolute referencing and now I want to show you the mixed referencing so let's say that we have a delivery cost and this delivery cost is depending on the distance between our shop and the client so if it's within 10 kilometers we will add five dollars if it's between 10 and 50 kilometers we'll add ten dollars and if it's above 50 kilometers we'll add fifteen dollars to the cost so let's see the cost per item after the adding the delivery cost so if you want to do it for this cell we will have to put equals 
L7 plus M6 and we will press enter and if we apply it to all in this column we will see that for example this one is now multiplying L8 times M7 and this one is multiplying L9 times M8 so this is wrong we need to fix the L column when adding the item cost to the delivery cost so what we need is to fix the column number when dealing with the items and fix the row number when dealing with the delivery cost so in order to do it we have to fix as we said the column number L when dealing with items so now item L7 we need all the items to be in L column so we press F4 we press F4 again and you press F4 again so now we are fixing the L column in our calculations and in the row we need to fix row number so we need always to use the row number 6 and not go down in the rows when applying to all these cells so we press F4 F4 again and here now we are fixing the row number 6 if we press enter and we apply to all then we expand it to the other columns now let's randomly check the cells so if we press F2 here it's multiplying L9 times N6 if we go to here we are multiplying L8 times O6 so all our calculations are correct so as we saw mixed referencing is a mixture between the relative and absolute referencing for example this L8 cell for the L we are using the absolute referencing and the for the row number 8 we are using the relative referencing because there is no dollar sign before it and here for O6 for example the column is relative because there is no dollar sign before it and the row is absolute because there is a dollar sign before it now i am sure that using relative and absolute references when working on excel spreadsheets will make your work more efficient and quicker hit the subscribe button and give this video thumbs up to keep supporting my content Thank <laughs> you.